Hi friends, um, thank you for listening to a new Tell Me a Story Tuesday. And tonight I'm going to talk about the impact of the song It Seemed the Better Way by Leonard Cohen, the impact it had on me. And when I first heard this song, which is on his project called You Want It Darker, I think it was the last project that he made before he passed away. Um, when I heard this song, it rang very true, like it was the story of Judas, Jesus' disciple, who ended up betraying him and selling him to the Pharisees. And he was the reason, the human reason that pushed him towards crucifixion. And the story with Judas, Judas was a disciple. He followed Jesus for three years. He saw him raise Lazarus from the dead. He saw him heal people. He heard the good news of the gospel, that Jesus was the Son of Man. And he chose to ignore or repress that truth and do what he wanted to do for his own selfish gain. So this song to me um, is a story of that struggle, knowing um, and the guilt that tore him up. Judas actually ended up hanging himself um, because of what he had done. Um, and the truth is that Jesus is loving, right? He came to die for our sins. He came to redeem us. But we are responsible for what we do with that truth. So uh, this is, it seemed, the better way. It seemed the better way When first I heard him speak But now it's much too late To turn the other cheek but it sounded like the truth It seemed the better way It sounded like the truth But it's not the truth today I wonder what it was I wonder what it meant First he touched on love Then he touched on death Take my place, lift this glass of blood, try to say the grace, but it seemed the better way. When first I heard him speak, but now it's much too late to turn the other cheek, but it sounded like the truth. Take my place, lift this glass of blood, try to say the Jesus, of him being our Savior, is still held in front of each of us, and we get to decide what we want to do with that truth. And so, if you're not sure if the story is true, if you're not sure if Jesus is actually the man he said he is and the Savior of the world, I encourage you, um, open up the Bible, read the book of John, pray for God to show you whether or not it's true, and bounce your ideas off somebody that you know that is a believer, and maybe... Um, you can decide that it's true for yourself. All right, love you. Um, thank you for listening, my friends. God bless you. Have a great night.